Jesus said, Man cannot live on bread alone, but from every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. You're listening to Daily Truth. There are earthly consequences for sin as well. And one of the earthly consequences for sin is sin. There is a sense in which sin is its own punishment. That sin is, by nature, destructive. God's laws, to state that uh, in the positive sense now, God's laws are not capricious. They are not arbitrary. The thing that God deems as being lawful, that is morally right, is also the thing that is beneficial, prosperous, good. What God says is right, we must trust that that thing which is morally right is also good. The thing that is morally right for mankind is also the thing that brings life for mankind. The thing that is good for mankind. Just like a godly parent. Now, we're not God, so we sin. We're fallen, and so even our our parenting, parenting is fallen and sinful. But you and I, seeking to be good parents seeking to uh, exemplify the nature and character of God as our heavenly father, the true and perfect parent, we in our parenting seek to have laws and rules for our children that are for their good. So we're saying, you can't do this. And, and it's not because we're trying to steal the child's fun. Right? We're not, we're not saying, now I know that if you did this, it would be a blast. And I just... There's something about when my child giggles and smiles that I just can't stand. And so I want to take that away. No, right? It's not, you can't play in the street because we all know the street is the most fun place for a child to be. And we just don't want to see our children happy. No, you can't play in the street because it's dangerous because it's dangerous. And so it is with God, our Heavenly Father. What what He deems is morally right, we can trust that that's merely one side of the coin. The other side is that that is also good. Therefore, on the flip side, now going back to sin, that which is lawless outside of God's standard of morality, of rightness, we can say that, that sin is not only wrong, but also harmful. So, so God's law is right and good. Sin is wrong and bad. Not just wrong, but destructive, harmful, hurtful. And in that sense, we can say that sin is its own consequence. Sin is its own punishment. All right, hold up. You're not going to want to miss this. I'm going to tell you exactly how our spring 2024 conference is going to go down. Here's the title of the conference, Blueprints for Christendom 2.0. Subtitle, Seven Doctrines for Ruling the World. We're going to have seven primary sessions covering each of these doctrines for ruling the world righteously. Number one, Reformed Confessionalism. That's going to be Pastor Doug Wilson preaching on that topic. Then we've got Covenant Theology with Pastor Brian Sauve. Then we've got Biblical Patriarchy with Pastor Michael Foster. Then we've got Presuppositionalism with Dr. Joseph Boot. Then we've got um, Kyperianism, All of Christ for All of Life, where we're going to welcome Pastor Doug Wilson back for a second session. Then we've got General Equity Theonomy. We're going to have Dr. Joseph Boot come and do a second session on that topic. And then lastly, we'll have Pastor Dale Partridge on Postmillennial Eschatology. In In addition to these seven sessions, we're also going to have not one, but two live podcasts. On the first day of the conference, that's Friday, March 1st, we're going to have a live Theology Applied podcast. I'll be on the stage hosting the discussion with Douglas Wilson, Michael Foster, and Eric Kahn from It's Good to Be a Man. The topic is going to be all about biblical patriarchy. We're going to specifically be parsing out, distinguishing the biblical doctrinal differences between patriarchy and complementarianism. Again, that's Friday, March 1st, the first day of the conference, a live Theology Applied podcast on biblical patriarchy. Then we're going to have the next day, that's Saturday, March 2nd, a live Haunted Cosmos podcast. I'll be hosting this discussion with Brian Sauve and Ben Garrett. We're going to be talking about the Nephilim. We're going to be talking about the Watchers. We're going to be talking about what creatures currently are living underneath the surface of the earth and chasms of the deep. It's going to be wacky. It's going to be weird, but it will also be thoroughly biblical 
and incredibly unhinged. So you're not going to want to miss these two live podcasts, Theology Applied on Friday, March 1st, the first day of the conference on biblical patriarchy with Doug Wilson, Michael Foster, Eric Kahn, and myself. And then the next day of the conference, Saturday, March 2nd, a live Haunted Cosmos podcast with Brian Sauvé and Ben Garrett and myself on the Nephilim, the Watchers, and what lies under uh, the surface of the earth. And then the conference will hold over for one final, the third and final day. That's going to be the Lord's Day, Sunday, March 3rd, where one of our speakers will be holding over to preach the Lord's Day sermon, and I'll be leading us in worship through the liturgy. So we've got three days, a Friday, Saturday, Sunday, March 1st, 2nd, and 3rd of 2024, Blueprints for Christendom 2.0, Seven Doctrines for Ruling the World. You're not going to want to miss this conference. Our early bird rate is still available, but only for a very short period of time. We are ending the early bird rate on August 31st at 1159 p.m. That will be the final chance to get into this conference at an affordable, cheap rate. All right, so go and take advantage of the early bird rate right now by going to Right Response Conference. Dot com. Again, that's rightresponseconference.com to register for Blueprints for Christendom 2.0, March 1st, 2nd, and 3rd, 2024. Register today.